Hey guys, welcome back. Joe here again, scalefreak. Well, right there, scalefreak.com. <laughs> Coming to bring you another video blog. Uh, today is Sunday, of course. Of course it's Sunday. Uh, so we're going to do a video blog today. Uh, today's update is, is uh, actually a, a question as well as an update. So let's go to update really quick. Um, spent the entire morning cleaning up dog poop from the backyard. How entertaining is that? Anyway, you guys know that I've got Raven and Kaiser, my two absolutely amazing dogs. The weather is getting great, uh, which of course means that there's dog poop everywhere now because uh, two German shepherds in the backyard all winter really makes some damage. But spent the morning doing that. I actually wanted to spend the whole day playing with my trucks and uh, getting some stuff set up. And I'm staring at the, the, you can see here, Project JK is just kind of sitting in the middle of the table. I was sizing up some winch stuff earlier today trying to figure out what I wanted to do, I had a, uh, I have a three racing winch just kind of laying around. I've had it around here for quite a while, just sitting in a package. Um, the same time, I've got some other plans I wanted to do with that too. Uh, but I was, I was looking around at, at some stuff, trying to think of what I would want to put on this kit. I really think that I might want to put the, um, the winch, the the RC4WD Warren winch that is on the um, the the Red Devil Recon. I might want to get another one for this one here, especially considering the fact that I still have that wireless winch controller that I could be using in order to uh, to power that one. We'll see. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, but also, I was trying to think of some more parts that I might put on the Project JK. Uh, we know the night custom stuff is going on there. I'm a big fan of that. I want to get the, the battery relocation kit is kind of the next part that I want to get for it, as well as the roto packs that go into the back windows. Basically everything. <laughs> I really like it. Uh, the guy's a super nice guy, so make sure you go check it out. His name's James Knight. Um, really cool guy, and his product is phenomenal. So go check it out. Now that they make a bunch of stuff for, where's my finger? For the Red Devil Recon, I do want to get a bunch of stuff for that as well. I want to get the grill for that as well, because I think that that front grill just really makes that kit. I love the uh, the, the light bucket setup for it. I'm just a, a big fan of, of how that Shapeway stuff is actually goes together. So I'm going to work on that a little bit. A lot of money to spend on a lot of things. <laughs> so many rigs. Um, uh, but anyway, uh, back to the, uh, the, the, the Project JK. There's a few things that I wanted to get on that. Now, I, I know with the Viewer's Choice Project, uh, everybody seems to be talking about Homes Hobbies. So um, it, it's getting a Homes Power System, uh, the, 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 the BR, uh, BX, uh, whatever it is, the waterproof ESC with, uh, with, I forget which motor was selected. I've got it written down. Um, and then of course I'm going to be doing the servo, uh, the launch of the servo vote this week. Everybody is suggesting the homes hobby servo. So I think that's going to be going with that. And I just have this sneaky suspicion that when we start talking about lockers, uh, everyone might be talking about the homes hobby locker as well. It seems that homes hobbies is doing very well right now. Um, a lot of fans of the scale, group are are really going towards this product because i i mean i know it's good um but a lot of people have a real positive experience but i'm curious about what's going on with locked up i, I kind of want to know this is where my question is i want to know what your opinion is on the locked up stuff and the reason why i ask is because uh um i was just speaking with heather up at extreme rc in oshawa and she has become the uh, the i believe maybe even possibly the first major canadian distributor for uh locked up rc so I was just speaking with her and she said that the locked up stuff is huge. She's like, she's doing massive orders. Often people are going crazy for this stuff. And I've actually never even had it in my hand before. And I'm thinking that I might for Project JK, I may want to get uh, the, um, the locked up spools, uh, the, the differential spools. And I'm also thinking about, I know they have a winch. Uh, I know they also have an upgrade for whoop, this little guy here for the three racing winch. I dropped it again for the three racing winch. Um, so I had to check to see on the, that. They've got a few products. They've even got wheels and stuff like that too that I had considered. Um, I've got the GCM wheels. I absolutely am in love with those things. Those are on the, where's my, this way. Those are on the F-bomb. I'm recording backwards, guys. Those are on the F-bomb. Um, of course, I've, I'm running axial rims on other stuff. I've got RC4WD rims and I've built a lot of Vanquish rims. So uh, I'm a fan of all of them, but I have not had an opportunity yet to play with locked up rims, locked up RC rims. So that might be something that could happen on this. I don't quite know yet. Lots of time, lots and lots of time. Uh, so I'm going to check out that stuff too. Um, talk to Heather. Remember guys, if, if you are in Canada 
and you're looking to get some locked up RC stuff, the shipping is absolutely ridiculous when you're trying to get it from the States. Um, Heather already has a lot of this stuff, and if she doesn't have it, she's putting the orders in all the time. So head over to the, 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 uh, the Facebook page um, or fire her a message or give the shop a call, something like that. If there's something you're looking like looking for, um, you know she's got it for you. She's got a pretty cool scale wall too. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a trip up there this summer and go check out the store and maybe do a little video tour and be like, here's all the stuff you could have. Because um, she does really well for the scale group, which is pretty awesome. Uh, anyway, aside from that. So uh, dog poop, um, the kits, the locked up RC, lots of Holmes hobby stuff. What else is there? Just kind of looking around. I'm just trying to think of exactly what was going on this week. I, I did a lot of stuff. That, oh, ha, bench questions. This is funny enough. I had some people asking me about bench questions. Like, when is the next bench questions coming out? Guys, I apologize completely. I actually recorded a bench questions episode with um, Jason, with Antler and with Taylor, uh, Steve Taylor, uh, <laughs> a few weeks ago. Um, it was actually supposed to be released the same weekend I had the, uh, the, the on-road race, but <laughs> I completely forgot about it. I literally went to go record something with my handheld camera the other day, and it's like, oh, your card's full. I'm like, how is my card full? I don't understand. What's going on? So I plugged it in, and I was like, oh, my God, there's a bench questions on there. I apologize, guys. So I have since rendered it. I have uploaded it to YouTube. Um, there's been a delay because it, I recorded it at 1080, so YouTube is kind of choking on it a little bit. Uh, huge files. Like when you when you record like an hour long episode at 1080, um, even without putting the full uh, full crazy uh, sound on it, um, it's still you know a 10, 12, 14 in some cases 20 gig file. Uh, takes YouTube a little while to process, but eh, you do what you got to do, right? Um, so there's that. So that will be coming. I'm going to aim for Tuesday. Uh, I've uploaded it. It's already processed. It's already ready. Today is Sunday. I hope to release that for you on Tuesday so you'll have another Bench Questions. Of course, please send your emails to benchquestions at gmail.com if you do have more questions. Um, and of course, uh, list if there's specific people that you would like to answer that question. So say, for example, if it's a, a, maybe a Dave and Pumbaa question or if it's a Steve and Antler question or maybe we have to have a show that's Dave and Steve or Pumbaa and Antler or you know how it works. Um, of course, uh, also, uh, I'm, 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 I'm learning, I'm learning, I'm learning how to post stuff on to scalefreak.com a little bit better. Uh, Vince has done an amazing job over the past few years with helping out and making sure that everything goes up there, uh, answering questions and things like that, creating that link that you guys can, can message into. Um, and now that link goes directly to me. So your questions will come directly to me. So you can actually go to the scale freak website, click the ask a question and it'll come to me. Um, you can also email me at joe at scalefreak.com. That will come to me. And, uh, of course what we're going to do is I really want to get the reader's rigs section revitalized and going again. There's a lot of amazing stuff on there and I really want to, to get more. So if you've got a reader's rig that you would like to get submitted, you can go ahead and send, uh, the pictures, um, a story about it, please. Give me more than just, this is a picture of my kit. Um, a story about your rig. What has inspired you to build your rig? What is your purpose for your rig? Um, I would love a full parts list. A full parts list, some detailed pictures. That way people can go on there and go, oh my God, that's amazing. And of course, if you would like to, to, uh, to be able to be contacted by people, just put a very specific note that you would like to be contacted or you would like your contact information listed. Um, otherwise I will just put your first name and your last initial and a picture of your kit. I don't share anything else unless you specifically ask for it. Cause some people do like to be helpful in the community as well. So, uh, but of course for that, you can also join the, uh, scale freak Facebook page and you could be helpful there. So yeah, you'll see more of that coming soon. I've already got some entries that have to go in and believe it or not, I don't even really have a lot of pictures of my own stuff on there. I think there's a picture. I think there's a picture of the F bomb. And that was from the Canadian G6, and it's pretty much a different truck. Um, and then, of course, I got to get Red Devil Recon up there, and now I got to get Project JK up there, and then I'm going to have to get, where is it? Where is it? Where? No, where is it? Where is it? Oh, there it is. <laughs> the F-150 has to get rebuilt. Um, and then, of course, I've got uh, that guy up there that has to also get rebuilt. I've got chassis for all these things. It's just a matter of getting all the, the, the braces, all the stuff to put it all together, all the glue to, and there's no glue. Um, I've got rims and tires and motors and servos for everything. It's just little things like little tiny braces to, to hold the chassis together. Um, 
And I think I only have enough to build one more axle, but that's fine. I'm going to get new axles for a couple of these kits, so I'll just reuse the stuff that I already have. But I think that's it for today. I, I'm, I'm really, really, really kind of pumped up on uh, our little friend over there, our little crazy M, uh, the monster. And uh, I'm having a great day. The weather here is phenomenal. I've got the scaling itch. I need to get on the trail. But there's so much work to do at the house to get this place ready for spring. Um, I kind of neglected my gardens last year. I kind of neglected the yard. I kind of, I just neglected everything last year for work. Uh, this year, I'm, I would like to say I'm not going to do it again, but I am. I'm absolutely going to work too much again this summer as well. But I am going to create some time to get out and do some run videos for these kits, especially with stuff like uh, with, with Project JK. And F-Bomb needs to get tested this year. F-Bomb Where's my finger? Where is there, this way? F bomb needs to get annihilated this year. I have to figure out whether I have to put a new motor system in that thing or not. Uh, one thing with the portal axles that I had possibly mentioned before is uh, they're cool, uh, but adding in two, four, six, eight more gears into the system because remember each axle has two more gears, uh, and then um, greasing it all up and getting it done has added a bit more drag to the system. It's currently running the Tekken. FXR with the uh, the 35 turn pro hand wound motor, great motor, beautiful motor. But with that kit there, I seal the speed controller into a box, very tiny box with um, with the receiver. So I want to make sure that we're not going to have heat problems, and then I'm not going to cook motors with the added resistance of all of the portals. So I, that's something I have to look into. Uh, if I have to. You know, I just kind of saw that Holmes Hobbies makes brushless waterproof stuff now. Hmm. Anyway, that could be on the agenda for later this year. We'll see. I'm going to put it through its paces and see what happens. See what happens when I abuse it and see if I have to upgrade some more stuff. Mm -hmm. Still have to do another body, though. For, like this. I can't run it with that body on it this year. I annihilated it last year. So I still have this guy here already trimmed out. Um, I have most of the paint. I used it all on... Uh, on Project JK, um, so I've got to get some more red uh, and some more flat. I'm going to do this with a, with a flat clear as well. I really like how that turned out. Um, and there's a company I'm having a hard time remembering. I apologize. You won't know the difference anyway. Um, but there is a company in the States that's starting to make bent, or sorry, radius light bars uh, for the Toyota. And what I did was, because I'm really excited about the idea of getting a radius light bar on this one, I sent him all of the measurements of a body. And, and I'm actually willing to even send him my old body if that means that uh, we can get a radius light bar built for the F-250. I would love to see that, uh, but that's still to come. But that'll be red, of course. I don't, I don't think I know any other color. That one's red, that one's red, that one's red, that one's red. Has anybody figured out what my favorite color is yet? Even my Loctite is red. And I'm just making shit up now. All right, guys, so that is it for today. Please remember, guys, uh, go, you know, like I said, go check out um, the Extreme RC if you're looking for some locked up stuff in Canada. Uh, Heather's bringing it in like crazy, so you know she's going to do her best for you. Of course, please uh, share this throughout your community as best you can. Uh, I'm only putting this on a couple pages so um, you guys can spread it around, which is amazing how often that's been happening. I've actually found my videos on pages uh, that I don't post on. And I was like, oh, wow, how'd that make it here? So thank you guys for doing the sharing. Of course, click on the subscribe button if you are not a subscriber. Uh, once I hit the 10,000 subscriber list, I've already got a couple companies that are on board with a cool contest that I want to do um, to be able to celebrate 10,000 subscribers. I want it to be substantial. I don't want it to be like, hey, here's a sticker package. I'd like, uh, I'd like something worth something. Stickers are worth something, but not as much as something. Um, of course, uh, oh, click on the like button, please please hit the little like button. Uh, that's a Facebook like, right? It's got the little eh, little hand thing. Um, and of course, uh, oh, comment down below. I do need to hear you about Locked Up RC. What are your thoughts on it? Uh, what have you, uh, what Locked Up RC stuff have you put on your trucks? And how do you feel about it? And have you dealt with the customer service? Customer service is very big for me. Um, I need to know about that as well. So that's it, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you get, are getting beautiful weather where you are. Um, I'm seeing lots of videos uh, and pictures from all of these early season competitions that are happening all over the place. Keep it up, guys. I love watching this stuff. Please post it all on Scale Freaks Facebook page. I'm on there all day. I love to see this stuff. And, and uh, oh, very big thank you to all of you. 
thank you for posting about Natasha's birthday. I really appreciate that. She was uh, kind of taken back. Um, funny enough, she has a lot of family. She's Italian. And there were more people from the RC community that said happy birthday than people from her family. She has a big family. So thank you very much to the Scale Nation for getting that taken care of. You guys are phenomenal. Um, I love you guys. So does she. And uh, have yourself a great day, guys. Enjoy your weekend.